Scream 6 wasn't a film I was overly enthusiastic to see. I enjoyed the fifth one fine enough when it came out, and I really enjoyed Ready or Not, which was also led by Matt Bettinelli, Olpen, and Tyler Gillette. However, the trailer was terribly edited. We've got a Laura in. And it didn't bode well for this being at all unique or interesting. But I gathered my courage and went to see this opening night, and uh, guess I'm happy for all the people who got a lot out of this, but I found Scream 6 pretty bad. To start with the technical elements, I thought the presentation of this film was really lacking. The cinematography and color grading was rarely ever interesting, and I really hate this trend that a lot of newer stuff is falling into, where they use a super shallow depth of field because it's a cheap and lazy way to get a cooler final image. It rarely feels intentional, and I find it just makes the end product look cheap. The editing was equally unspecial, with many scenes overly cut up so that they could relieve the audience of any potential tension or fear that they may be feeling. Heaven forbid I feel danger in my horror movie. There was a scene where the characters were in a rush to save someone from Ghostface, but when it cut to the second location, it was a completely different time of day. It's a small nitpick, and I recognize that's not fully the editor's fault. They probably just did their best with bad footage. But I feel they could have begun the scene better with insert shots or close-ups on the characters so the change isn't as sudden and obvious. The music wasn't anything to write home about. As with most modern horror movies, it was annoying and pretty much never left you alone. If you put a gun to my head, I still don't think I could accurately hum a single bar from any of the pieces composed for this film. But I don't think the technical elements are why this film has such high ratings. Most people care about the story, so I figure I should talk a bit about that. But this section will have some minor spoilers, so if you want to go in blind, probably don't watch this. I thought the opening was cute, I didn't think it was as smart or unpredictable as the filmmakers thought it was, but nevertheless, I enjoyed it, it's a fun subversion. And I did really enjoy the characters in this film. I never found the film boring, and I think it was the main cast that kept it going for me. I think they're decently written and well-performed at points. I specifically enjoyed the scenes between Jenna Ortega and Mason Gooding's characters. I wish we had more of them instead of the stupid Sam trauma plot that goes nowhere. I enjoyed the new setting, and I liked how brutal this film was. Many of the Ghostface attacks happen more suddenly than in previous Scream films, and that keeps it fresh. And when the kills do occur, they have some super entertaining and well-made practical gore. The gore and creativity of some of the kills was cool to see, but I also felt like the violence had very little consequence. Some characters got stabbed and shot multiple times throughout the film, only to have their wounds completely forgotten about, since they have to be in the next one. This could be somewhat forgivable if it felt like it tied into the self-aware commentary on horror franchises, but this film is much more seriously toned than previous entries, which I thought really worked to its detriment. The film doesn't have a nuanced enough screenplay or good enough technical elements to expect an audience to feel the genuine fear or tension they're attempting to create. Great, thoughtful horror films exist, and not just the so-called elevated horror the previous Scream film comments on. John Carpenter's The Thing is first and foremost a great thrill ride with some beautifully disgusting gore, but it's also an incredibly detailed and precisely made character drama with cleverly integrated themes of identity and socially relevant messages like our fear of the other. If you feel like bringing up the thing is comparing apples to the Godfather, last year's Bodies, Bodies, Bodies by Helena Rain manages to work as a great horror flick even with all its tropes and cliches. It's got dumb character decisions and guns that never seem to need reloading, but that never took me out of it since the movie just had so much fun. It's to an extent parodying how silly these characters are, so when they do something stupid, that's part of the joke. Whereas Scream 6 seems to view the events in the story with about as much humor as a Polish art house film, of course without the technical prowess. Scream 6 is a film that kept insisting serious emotions on me via the solemn music and dark visuals, but never earned them with thoughtful filmmaking. 
I'm happy for people who find this to be genuinely effective horror commentary. As I said earlier, I wasn't ever bored, and I can easily see how this works for other people. But unfortunately for me, what this film has to offer just isn't what I look for. So I'm gonna give Scream 6 a 4 out of 10. Thank you.